All right, I got to read this fucking thing here. All right, so the Ryder Cup is like, uh, I don't know what it is. I fucking hate golf. I, I don't hate it. I like smoking cigars. I like getting drunk. But I just, I can't fucking, I can't, the fucking asshole stand over the ball for like nine hours. You, you're going to slice it. Just fucking hit the thing and, and drop another one. And they all fucking, che- you want to talk about fucking cheaters? Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, I, 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 I had a six. Six what? Fucking lost balls, you asshole. We fucking saw you whacking at it. One of my favorite things to do when I golf is I count every fucking stroke. If I'm on the fucking, if I'm teeing off, whatever the fuck you call it, all right? If I swing and miss, I count that fucking thing. Because people go, oh, no, 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 I was trying. That counts. You cheating cunt. You know why there's so much cheating in fucking golf? Because the people, generally speaking, who play it are not fucking athletic. You got a lot of bankers. You got a lot of stuffed shirts. You got a lot of people just motivated by fucking money. They were never picked in gym class, okay? They had their underwear yanked up over their fucking head, and it had this anger in them. Oh, I'm going to show them. Someday when I come back to the fucking high school reunion, I'm going to have this fucking unbelievable car or whatever the fuck it is that deal. Or maybe they're born into money. Or maybe I'm just completely full of shit, and, and I don't like the sport because I, I, I am, I, my legs are white like the mozzarella. Maybe that's what it is. But anyways, I've been telling you guys that I, I, I really like wearing golf clothes. It's so fucking comfortable. It's breathable and movable because there's so many fat, fucking unathletic fucks that play that game and they got to walk around who's kidding who they get the golf cart and they waddle up to their fucking ball you know what i mean they got all this shit their stoop their fucking socks matches a stripe in their collar right they got the baggy shit on and you know them when they go when they go fucking when they go back with the club and they gotta move that that fucking mush of man tits and belly underneath that shirt you know what i mean like like the way your lat is or where their lat should be right there's all this this said it's all marbled and that shirt has to fucking stretch right so because of those fucking people complaining to the clothing companies like that i'm telling you the shit is crazy how comfortable it is i love it my wife hates it so anyway so the Ryder cup is basically when the americans play i don't know i guess we play great britain and and somebody else who gives a fuck about golf and it's country versus country. It's like the Olympics, except nobody really gives a shit, right? Um, <laughs> I know people care, right? So anyways, there's some fucking uh, guy, Danny Willett, and he has a brother. And his brother just went off on Americans, the, the American fans. It's fucking hilarious. And I guess, of course, it's some big goddamn controversy because somebody had the nerve to call Americans you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I've never understood why, why you can't do that. Or why if, if somebody's, if, if your brother says something fucked up and you're in the public eye, all of a sudden you have to answer for it. Like this guy was like stammering, like apologizing for the guy. I'd be like, who said it? Your brother. I, I who, who said the thing that's you're upset about? Who said it? My brother. Right. Yeah. Well, fucking go talk to him. You cunt. The fuck? Um, and why can't they say that? Why can't they say that? And why does that make the sport lose fans? You know what I mean? You know why? Because there's fucking kids in the world. Oh, my kid heard that. Well, did he? You know what else he heard? He heard you fucking your wife the other night. All right, that's his mother. What do you think that did to him? What do you, what do you think was worse? Oh, Jesus, Bill. I'm always grabby when I, when I fly that day. All right, here we go. Um, so anyways, uh, so I guess they're, they're playing each other. And uh, I guess we play in England in golf or some shit. Like anybody gives a fuck. I guess a lot of people give a fuck, but I, I don't. So I, I assume no one else does because I'm, uh, I'm self-centered. So anyways, his brother was texting with somebody. I, this is once again, I don't know how somebody found this. If it was a fucking email or whatever. Well, why don't I read it for you? Danny Willett was quietly going about his business during a Ryder Cup practice round Wednesday morning when all hell was breaking loose on social media thanks to a scathing screed his brother wrote for a website in which he called Americans fat, stupid, greedy, classless bastards. <laughs> He 
You know what I love about that? That guy, he just hit the nail on the head. Can we honestly, can we fucking argue any of that, generally speaking? Come on, let's go through them. Fat, you got us. Stupid, yeah. Can we, yeah, you know, I'll give you that. Greedy, absolutely. Classless bastards, t- totally. 100 fucking percent. Dude, this guy's insults. On the fucking golf fans that show up to this thing, it's like when Larry Bird would just be doing the three-point contest and he just kept shooting them through the net, you know? And when he ends it with classless bastards, that's the two-point ball, the colored one in the end. (laughs) Dude, I read this thing. Like the headline says, Family Feud. Well, Well, let's brother, however the fuck you say his name. It just says, colon, Americans, fat, stupid, greedy bastards. And I was on the plane and I bursted out laughing. And uh, and I was like, please let this article be as much of a joy to read as the headline. And it was, he said, the, uh, man, here we go, stupid. I can't even say this word. The excoriating of American golf surely was not a part of Darren Clark's captain's handbook, part of which states the visiting team shall not rile up the opposition's home crowd with trash talk. Uh these were some of the choices of his words in the article. I got to read this fucking article. This is what he said. For the Americans to stand a chance of winning, they need their baying mob of imbeciles. <laughs> the only thing that can make this funny is listening to this guy say it in an English accent. This is the greatest shit I've read in a while. To get their baying mob of imbeciles um, to caress their egos every step of the way. Team Europe needs to shut those groupies up. They need to silence the pudgy basement-dwelling irritants stuffed on cookie dough and pissy beer, pausing between mouthfuls of hot dogs so they can scream Bubba Booey until their jelly faces turn red. (laughs) He just keeps going. They need to stun the angry, unwashed, make America great again swarm, desperately gripping their concealed carry compensators and belting out a mini belting out a mini erection inducing mashed potato hoping to impress their cousin uh they need to smash the obnoxious dads with their shiny teeth lego man hair medicated ex-wife and resentful children oh my god if i wasn't so lazy i'd give this guy a standing ovation how do you get mad? I mean, how do you get when a guy goes that hard? How the fuck do you get mad at that? I mean, that's hilarious. Come on, man. You, 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 and, you know, you, you could do the same thing about them. They're, they're fucked up teeth. They're fat fucking fish and chip eating jackasses. Neo-Nazi fucking racists beating the fuck out of each other at their fucking stupid ass pussy fucking football games. You can't use your hands. Everybody flopping around the ground. Dude, soccer is such a shitty fucking sport. Women's soccer is actually better than the men's. All right? And I'm just talking legit. I don't mean like volleyball because they're fucking hotter, dude. Look at the fucking ass on her. I'm not looking at them even remotely even objectifying them. I'm just saying straight up as a sport. The fucking ladies play. Somebody trips them, they get up. These fucking guys are rolling around on the ground. Oh my God! It's 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 like watching musical theater without the fucking music. It's horrific. There, so I did that. Now, does 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 my brother have to apologize to me? Uh, fucking standing ovation. What the? F- I gotta give that guy a shout out. Not to Danny, because Danny, then for some reason, he has to. You know, he laughed his fucking balls off, in, in you know, in some really comfortable clothes golfing clothes. He must have been laughing his fucking ass off, and just be like, dude, why the fuck did you do that to me? Um, he just goes, uh, I just, after that fucking masterpiece, all right, whether you agree with it or not, that was a fucking Lego man hair or pissy beer. Come on. If they're fucking, uh, concealed carry compensators. (laughs) Um, okay. And then this is what he says, you know, off the record, he laughed his balls off. And then on the record, he's just like. Uh, I'd just like to apologize to everyone involved. Uh, I spoke to him on the phone after, and I was made aware, after I was made aware of what was being said, and I said to Peter, I was obviously disappointed at what was said and what was written about the American fans. Uh, They took me under their wing fantastically back in April, I guess when he won the Masters. And uh, as soon as I got off the golf course, I went to see Davis, and me and Davis had a chat for a few minutes about it all. Uh, 
Yeah, he took it really well, and he's uh, he took it really well. They were fucking laughing their balls off. And you know what's funny is then they got they got a picture of of the American fans, you know. And these ev- there's three people in the photo, and there's not one of them that I would not go out and get shit faced with. I mean, these, these, these yeah, these are the fucking people. You need those people. These are the people. Who, they're not going to do anything in life. They're going to watch other people do shit in life and go fucking nuts, right? When you accomplish something and when you don't, they're going to say you suck and talk a bunch of shit about what they would have done, right? Who doesn't love being that guy? They're all draped in the fucking, one guy's dressed like Uncle Sam. Another guy, for whatever reason, he, he has an American flag shirt and then he has like a park ranger hat on. Maybe that's a golf thing. And the other guy has got the fucking, he's got the American flag over his head while wearing a baseball hat. He looks like an, he looks like an old woman. Like when she, like he's wearing like a shawl or something. Oh, that's fucking late. You know, and there's nothing better too. The dumber the fans are at a golf event when they're around pros. That's one of my favorite things. You know what I mean? Because you just, every, everything about like tennis and golf is shh, shh, like stop talking, shh. You know what I mean? It's fucking, you look at the fucking NBA. You, 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 you're going to take a fucking foul shot. Like a third of the stadium is, is doing everything but taking their dicks out and shaking it in your face. And these guys can consistently make it. How about a little focus? Tennis is the same way. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. You know what I mean? They don't boo. They whistle. 